Million quid if you wanted to get your hands on this uh, particular bike. The machine that won in 1966 the 350 World Championship. I'm going to say no more than that. Listen to the music of the Honda 4. Come on, oh, and it sounds like it may not be going any farther because it may just have expired somewhere out on the circuit. We're getting a message from one of the uh, marshals around the circuit that the motor may well have stopped somewhere out on the circuit. Of course, we uh, do not hear the drone in the background. So, uh, at least we got half a lap. We certainly had that uh, 10 very fast laps yesterday as a top heat, but uh, that's it. The motor may well have expired. Maybe minor, maybe terminal, we don't know uh, whether it can be sorted out and repaired, but it sounds like the motor has certainly stopped somewhere out there on the circuit. The, uh
So just all for a moment of all. For those of you that remember the old days, I think the only exception really is the modern day, are the fact modern day tires, uh, the stylish of that there. And this is the thing that is to be exposed in front of the same case, you'd be exposed to the interest of safety that now work in the clothes. Because you always tell a good man
thumb there, it's not got its own blood supply so it won't heal naturally, you actually need an operation to screw the thing together mm -hmm. and it, it's really the curse of the motorcyclist isn't it, the skateboard? Definitely, definitely. Bloody painful. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was affecting your performances this weekend? Just really at the end of the street, breaking on the end of the street, I was struggling a wee bit but apart from that it wasn't that bad, you know. Incredibly, he was taking it so seriously here because he didn't have a drink last night. The words were, you didn't have a drink at all last night. No, that was nothing to do with it. With the drinking? seriously. Sorry, Chris. Sorry, Chris. So, so you, you're now taking your racing steering again, seriously again? No, no, I just didn't feel that. Well, here we are, ladies and Three great riders, and uh, Alan Patterson, uh, Chris Palmer there, and, and Ian Locker. Quick word with Ian, if you can just step down this way. First and foremost, uh, what we've got to do, I don't know how many of you are sort of anoraks or how many of you people follow the TT, but this guy, look, look at the size of it, mate. Not a lot, is there? But he's been round the Isle of Man at uh, 17 minutes 53 point something, isn't it? 126 mile an hour plus. Well, he's very good on the 125, isn't it? Uh, half season Grand Prix racing. And, uh, right, let's uh, see what else we've got. Come on, Alan. Another world champion, ladies and gents, for the year 2000. In 2002, appropriately, he is Welsh. He might live across the borders, but he is Welsh, and it is uh, Ian Locker. And the person who took the title last year, there's a. Hey, 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 don't cut loose with that for a moment, boys. Don't cut loose with that for just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Sean Emmett did me a part with that. He's, he's, he's going to pay for it. He's going to pay for it, is Emmett. Uh, Ian, um, three times you won it. Last year you uh, were hoping to make it four in a row. I think Fox is the only rider to have done that. There's a, there's a favourite saying in motorcycle racing, you've uh, just loaned the trophy out or the title out. Was that the case for the fellow last year? Um... Uh, yeah. <laughs> you were actually saying that you prefer the 250, and you did actually have to ride the 600 last year. You didn't have a 250 last year. That was probably the deciding factor. Yeah, um, I didn't have a 250, and um, Peter Barrick um, has been good enough to give me a 250 this year, and, and I've been riding it quite a lot on the road, so it's just been brilliant. Just like thank him and, and all the guys who looked after the bikes, and uh, such as Martin and both Martins, and not every, you know, it's just such a lot of work here, you know. People don't realize that, you know. You're parked on a hill and you're up and down from the paddock and whatever. It, it's just, yeah, we just didn't have a 250 last year and I'd ride the 600. So, um, yeah, I just did the best I could on it. Uh, and Peter, of course, your sponsor on the 250 has got a special course of celebration uh, this evening. I think he celebrates his 45th birthday. Yeah, 46, I think it is, yes. <laughs> but no, he's, um, he's not going to have much for celebration tonight. I think he's going to drive back on the Cumbria. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, he'll be driving in a van. Well, there's our one, two, three, ladies and gents, the, the fitting climax of today's proceedings. The world champion Ian Locker, runner up Gary Jess, one of the contenders of the throne, who knows if the four of them will take it. Chris Palmer, a resurgent Chris Palmer, who has been the full racing here and have been a for many, well, we hope not come racing here for many, many years to come. Thanks to you folks for staying behind and showing your encouragement, appreciation to the riders. We can do it all here again in just a one year's time. I would uh, take a cue now, team, and move out of the way because the champ would like to spray. Thanks so much, folks. Bye-bye for now. Have a good journey home. <laughs>
He got a white shirt with pink on. Give us a camera, Simon. Oh, wow, that's a thing. It's still like this over, isn't it? 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 Isn't